I might have actually felt the baby move. Hey guys, welcome back to another pregnancy update. This is actually going to be another combined one for weeks 13 and 14 because I feel like nothing that different happened because now that I'm in the second trimester, there's like not a lot of like crazy symptoms that I want to talk about because I feel like the first trimester is normally where all the symptoms are happening and then the second trimester is referred to as like the honeymoon phase where like you're not uncomfortable and all the terrible first trimester symptoms go away and then, you know, when third trimester comes around, you're just like really huge and a lot of uncomfortable symptoms come along with that. So I'm just going to combine these two just so I don't have to repeat myself for two different videos. So for week 13, the baby is supposed to be the size of a nectarine and then week 14 is the size of a lemon. But the lemon that I actually had in the fridge was smaller than the nectarine that I had. So I just used the nectarine for size. But I think I'm actually like, for, I forget that the baby is growing. Like for some reason, I just think the baby's still like this big when actually it's the size of like a nectarine. So, cause I think I felt the baby move the other day. It was like literally the very end of week 14. So maybe I'll feel some more in like week 15 and on obviously. But they say you could possibly feel the baby move this early on, but usually it's only like second time mothers that like feel this early on because they know what it feels like but I'm like really in tune with my body so maybe that's why I could tell that something was a little different I was at the movie theater and I was kind of sitting weird like with my legs up and stuff so maybe that's kind of why I felt something but I swear I felt something <laughs> oh our trip to Disneyland went perfectly it was so great I was worried it was gonna be super hot because being pregnant like your temperature gauge is way off like I get really hot really easily and then I get really cold really easily like I have to literally be at a perfect temperature at all times or I'm just like uncomfortable so I was really worried that Disneyland was going to be super hot because Anaheim is always really hot but it ended up being super perfect it was cloudy and overcast all day even some parts of the day were a little bit cold so I'm glad that I brought like jeans and a sweater to wear so I think the only difference this time around with being pregnant at Disneyland was that my body did not recover as quickly as it used to because I would do like a full day of Disneyland and then the next day my legs would be sore and then the next day after that I'd feel fine. But I like, I think at least three days after Disneyland my legs were still sore <laughs> and it like wasn't just my legs, it was my legs, my neck, like my upper back, like everything was kind of sore. There's actually a really good amount of rides that you can do at Disneyland while you're pregnant so we had a full day of stuff to do and it was awesome. But for some symptoms like my stomach has definitely had that like stretching pain a little bit more often now because I can definitely tell that it's trying to grow because it's definitely like stretching all the time. Like it's kind of that feeling of where you have to pee really badly so your stomach is sticking out but it's like that all the time. <laughs> Oh, so another thing was that like even when I have to pee really bad, I'm still thirsty. So on the drive home from California, I had to pee really badly, but I was still really thirsty. So I was like trying to drink water while trying to like hold my pee while we were getting to a gas station. It was very difficult. In weeks 13 and 14, I feel like my acne has started to act up a little bit. Like, during the first trimester, I feel like my skin was like pretty perfect. Like it looked really good for my standards. And now I feel like in the 13th and 14th week, I had a lot of like random zits pop up. Not too many like now. Like right now, I think my skin looks good. <laughs> I think I mentioned this before, but I've also, I've been craving like a ton of sweet things. So like not only I'm craving a lot of fruit, but I'm also craving like desserts, like brownies or cupcakes or like stuff like that. Like if that's around, then it definitely sounds good to me, but normally I just eat fruit instead because fruit has natural sugar. So it kind of works with the same craving of as in like the sweet category. Because before I was pregnant, I like never craved sweets or desserts. Like that, that stuff never sounded good to me ever because I was like super healthy. I also got a, uh, I think they call body butter bars from Lush. It, this is the uh, therapy one. Oh, it smells so good. It's very like citrusy. I love it. I mostly wanted to check it out because uh, Ellie from Ellie and Jared, 
she said that she uses this for all of her pregnancies and she never got any stretch marks so I wanted to check it out. Even though I know most of that is kind of genetic but my mom and my sister also didn't get stretch marks but I'm way like skinnier than they are so just just in case I want to use this. And I'm really glad that I love the way this one smells because it has uh, neroli oil in it which is actually really good for skin stretching. That's what the Lush lady told me because I was already like going to Lush to buy this and I told her that I was interested in the therapy bar and she was like trying to sell it to me telling me all about it and she's like oh yeah there's neroli oil in here so it's really good for skin elasticity and stuff and so I was thinking like that's perfect because I want it to stretch my belly skin and I think it's actually one of their cheaper butter bars too I think it was about twelve dollars but Ellie said it lasts her whole pregnancy but I'm pretty extra when using stuff like this so I'll probably need at least two I think my boobs have stopped growing for the most part because like they were super sore and growing a lot in the first trimester but then once that was over like they were never sore again and I feel like they're not growing but I don't know maybe they'll grow more in the third trimester I don't know if they're done growing or not because obviously this is my first pregnancy so I don't know but we'll see because to me they already feel pretty huge because I've always had small boobs so I guess we'll see what I get stuck with well, I guess that's it for this week's pregnancy update. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I'll have all the pregnancy updates in a playlist linked down below. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of my other videos. And I will see you guys next time.